my name is Tim Michaels, and today I'm with my colleague, Matt Lyles. And on behalf of Trinity Health in New England and the Centers for Integrative Medicine, I'm really happy to bring you this segment of Wellness Wednesday. I had reached out to Matt. I met him just about six or eight months ago. And Matt has just this fascinating story about how he ended up here at Trinity Health in New England. So, Matt, why don't you just introduce yourself and um, let everybody know why you're here, how it came about to you being here at Trinity Health in New England. Absolutely, Tim, and because this is a story that's it's actually been five, six years in the making is to me actually getting to this point. And so wow. I actually was a chef for 17 years. I worked at, um, at Hartford Hospital and kind of grew into that just as a practical career and actually grew to be very comfortable there and um, actually had a, I actually won our Employee of the Year Award 2019, so I got lifted to a position wow. of prominence. That I was serving a lot of doctors and nurses in the cafeteria making their Caesar salad on Mondays and just kind of getting the quick interactions. And then I became, uh, went to massage therapy school 2015 and was juggling both for goodness, almost six years. And just, um, but my prayer was that I could be massage therapist full time. But the timing wasn't right. I had to keep plugging along as a chef and just loving on people. And, and then the opportunity, you know, even COVID hit and I had, I had a steady, secure job. At the, at, at the hospital, probably for the rest of my career if I wanted it. But there was something more I wanted. There was something that I was searching for and, and, and yearning for and really, you know, God answered that prayer, Tim, by presenting this opportunity here to come work at Trinity Health in New England and really was just drawn towards healthcare workers and the amount of stuff that these guys have been going through and just the amount of pain that's going on that's so multi-leveled, right? You know, not just the physical right. muscles, but the, the trauma having to come in every day and what's going to happen. Absolutely. Yeah. So this is something interesting, and maybe it's just me. I, I don't watch a lot of TV, haven't been listening to a lot of things. Um, but I just haven't been hearing a lot in our communities around prayer mm. and that spirituality and faith. So I, I want to be really careful. So you help me. What does prayer mean to you when you say that was my prayer? What does that actually mean to you? So, so prayer for me, so in, in, in the Christian faith, for me, prayer is connecting with God and just okay. um, being able to connect to something outside of myself that I can be real and open and honest with, where I don't have to, you know, we have this inclination, right, to want to be tough and want to muscle through and how's everything, oh, everything's fine, thanks, but where I can pour it out, know that I'm going to be heard, and hopefully answered. And it's just that, and it's that transaction that occurs. I offer the prayer, I listen. And it gives me a time to connect. It gives me a time of peace amidst the storm, amidst everything going on. I know that I can retreat into prayer and have that quiet time. So do you find yourself praying throughout the day here? Absolutely, absolutely. It's really like even during sessions, before I walk into each session, you know, God, what would you have for me in this time, is there something that I can say that could inspire, speak, speak life into whoever I'm interacting with, whether it's my coworkers, whether it's my patients, whether it's somebody I'm just meeting down the hall? And prayer is a conversation that can go on all day long. I grant that I may not always hear audibly, but I may get a thought that pops into my mind. And I could, I, we could spend a half an hour talking about times that prayers would answer in those regards and words that I've just spoken directly to people. It's amazing. Really is. So I, I love that concept of, of just before I go into a room. So you're referring to the treatment rooms where you do massage, correct? Um, in, in this case. And what a, what a great, helpful reminder to all of our staff. So you mentioned the Christian tradition, whether it's a Christian tradition or the Jewish tradition or Muslim, or you, you don't associate with any of those words but you're open to believing that there is something greater than you, something, I like the way you said it, something outside of me to connect to or to reach to that maybe before entering a patient room um, is to ask that the universe, ask God, ask who you would turn to in the spiritual sense to just show you the way, especially when you're tired. I hear from so many of our staff, they're tired, they're worn out, weary, and burnt out, and stressed. All those words that we keep floating around. Um, maybe that would be the one of the most interesting things. Go ahead, you got this idea, I can tell. <laughs> right. 
that you made. So, you know, when we feel tired and we feel like we're carrying so much weight, prayer is actually a way to help lift the weight off. Because I may not go to you with my heavy weight. I may not go to my boss all the time with my heavy weight because they're carrying their weight. But when I connect with God or who you connect with outside of that, that's a kind of a way to lift that weight off. It really is. To give me that peace amidst the circumstances I'm going through. So I guess it's no coincidence that that's, uh, it almost feels like you're referencing uh, the Gospel of Matthew. Come to me all who are, are labored and burdened, and I will give you rest. And the yoke is easy, um, and the burden is light. Yep. Yeah, that's always been a tough one. So I think this is a good point to let everybody sit with. Um, mm -hmm. So I'll kind of close our time this way. Uh, there's a Christian radio station, 106.9, um, and every so often I come across it, and they were doing this kind of survey with listeners, and they were asking them, um, what is the most underrated blessing from God? And the number one underrated blessing was the notion of rest. So I'm going to stop there. I'm going to thank Matt. I'm going to hope everybody just reflects a little bit around where can rest happen for them um, in their daily life. And I wish everyone well. Thanks, Matt. My pleasure. Mm -hmm.